Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for May 7th through May 15th. So this is like for the second week of May all the way to the 15th for the sign of Virgo. If you guys would like a quick reading and you have Instago or an Apple iPhone, you can check me out on Instago. It's 10 bucks for, you know, a reading, that, a little mini reading. Uh, if you don't have an uh, Apple iPhone, um, you can get a uh, reading through the options below. Unfortunately, they don't have an app for Androids like for Instago. So we have a couple of other options that are more expensive. I do apologize. This is for the sign of Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? All right, so we're gonna get um, one of these and one of these. If it flips over while shuffling, you'll get to see it. If not, then we'll have to wait to the end. Virgo, second week of May. Now I call these love readings. You guys can apply it to your job situation. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Virgo. run of bad luck. Wheel of Fortune reversed. That is a run of bad luck. Something is holding you back. You're holding yourself back. Uh, fighting destiny. Investing in something. Waiting for something to happen. Just waiting. Contemplating. Thinking about this. Wow, a lot has happened, huh? You know, you've made a lot of compromises. You've been working together. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this is calling for you to get creative, follow your passion. You know, we've been talking about this. It's about following your passion. It's about holding your head up high. Confidence, courage, willpower, finding that force within you. Ooh, seven of wands. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to fight for what you believe in. There's something that is meant to happen. Like I said, you're fighting destiny with the ten of ten of or uh, the wheel of fortune reversed. That's destiny that somebody is trying to control destiny. You know, I'm I am do not you know you need to do something but you're not doing it, you know, that kind of thing. Something is meant to change, and I have to tell you, sevens is a number from heaven. It's a destiny number. Seven, seven. You're being called to stand up for yourself. But there's fear of financial loss. If I, if I, you know, I've invested so much in this, and, you know, if I, if I go down this road, I'm going to have to make some compromises. And I could even go through some sort of financial loss. You're really worried about that. You feel like I might be biting off more than I can chew. If I go down, if I stand up for myself and I fight for myself, you know, it might be a little bit too much. That damn fear. Fear, you know. 
But the thing is, is you, is you have all this passion inside of you. You're overflowing. It's time. It's, it's, it's a time of growth. That's the Ace of Wands right there. It's a time of fertility. It's a time of expansion. It's like you have this fire inside of you that is flaming. You know, this the fire inside of you is so hot that it's like burning you from the inside out. It really is. You know, with the with the ace of wands next to the queen of wands, you are on fire, Virgo. And wherever you're at, you're feeling unstable and unbalanced and you're being called to stand up for yourself. But you're afraid to take the next step. Afraid to find out, use your own resources to shed the past. Afraid to take action to bring success in your life. You're only deceiving yourself. You need to let go of this worry and this anxiety. You have to close this door. You just need to let go of it. It's not serving you. It's not doing you any good. Let it go. It's time to restore that balance that's been lost. Here the balance has been lost. There's been chaos. It's been like or there's going to be, you know, you're, you're trying to, to hinder that from happening. Okay. By staying someplace, whatever you've invested in something and you're afraid that you're going to lose what you've invested in. Okay. But the right thing to do, you've evolved. You're not the same person anymore. It's time to restore the harmony and the balance and the peace to your soul, soul, Okay, it's not, it's not about restoring peace and harmony just to your life. It's about restoring peace and harmony to your soul. And that's what you're being called to do. You know, you need to let go of this worry, this worry about money. It's not about the money. Okay, it's not. It's about you following your passion. About the, it's about the fire within you. Anyway, I'm going to get this zoomed in and then we're going to keep going. Because like I said, this could be job related or it could be love related. Some of you are in a predicament just for the money in which you're, you don't really want to be in, but you're there just for the money because you don't have the, uh, well, I'm trying to be nice. You know how hard that is for me. You don't have the, uh, you know, I can only think of one word, balls to follow your heart. That was the word that I, that, I'm sorry, but that's the way I talk. Um, Integrity. I can't do the right thing. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate that. They do this for me all the time. You guys know that. Lacks integrity. I'm not, I can't find my backbone. Thank you, backbone. That's what we were looking for, right? Okay, I got it now. Sorry. Backbone instead of balls. I can't find my backbone to do the right thing. It's time to start a new journey. A major new beginning is presented to you or will be presented to you or is on your mind. And it will lead to success if you will just step over that finish line that you are teetering on. Step over it. It's, you know... The Nine of Cups reversed. Wherever you're at, there's no more further wish fulfillment. And you know it. It's over. It's done. It's time to complete it. Completion, completion, completion. Completion, completion, completion. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the World card. They're all endings. 
with endings bring new beginnings. You need to let this shit go that you have been holding on to that's killing you on the inside. It's killing your spark. And that, but the thing is, is the spark won't die. The spark has died for one situation and it's burning for another. And you're being called to celebrate your success and step over the finish line and start this new chapter. I'm telling you what, completion, completion, completion. One phase of your life is over and you're fighting and destiny. You're fighting this completion. 10 is the, 10, 10, 10. This is 21, it's the last kind of deck. Anyway, you're fighting this completion. And it's bringing you bad luck because you're fighting it. You're being called to drop it. To let it end. End it. Whatever this is. Find your moral backbone to do it. Refusing to wake up. Refusing to answer the call. It's the judgment card. Judgment is the call. Judgment call. Judgment is truth. Truth. The truth is reversed. The judgment call is reversed. I refuse to expect, accept the truth. I refuse to speak the truth. I refuse to wake up. I refuse to open my eyes and become aware of what I really know is true. There's too much self-sabotage and loathing and self-doubt holding you back. So, Virgo, you have a new beginning right in front of you once again. But somebody, and I know somebody's going to say, hell no, I'm not scared. Well, then I have no fear. Really? It doesn't matter. If, they, if you don't have any fears... Then why are, and if you and if why are you watching this video to that person out there who says oh no no if it doesn't resonate with you just move on if you got to leave a comment it obviously touched you And even if you didn't leave a comment, if the reading's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. And it's the same way with whatever this situation is. Every word that comes out of my mouth is for you during a reading. If it's for you, it's, that's destiny. That's how it works. That's how fate works. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. If it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Wake up. You only live once. What the hell are you waiting for? Judgment day? When it's too late? Because when you get to judgment day and you haven't lived your life, if you haven't followed your passions, you will regret it. So it's time to find that backbone. Because judgment day could come any day. Any minute. Somebody was just telling me a story about this woman who was on an airplane. I don't know where she was going, but something happened. And it broke the window on the airplane. And she got sucked out of the airplane. This was recently. Did you think, do you think that she thought that, that was going to be her last day? I'm sure she didn't. Any moment could be our last day. When you have your judgment day, do you want to look back and say, I wasted my life? Somebody's wasting their time in a situation that is burdensome and unhappy. 
and it's over. But they're refusing to wake up. New love. Go for it, please. You have a new opportunity here for a major new beginning. It's here. It is. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Or a new job, whatever this is. Do it. Go. Strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. You have the strength to accomplish anything. Open your eyes. Find your backbone to follow your truth and nobody else's. Talk to you later.